Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for joining my channel. It's good to have you here with me again. And we're going to talk, guess what? More about Aptera, but I might bring out something about Tesla too in this one. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. And let's check this baby out. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here with me. Hey, listen, we're going to talk about Aptera and look at how they could be actually copying Aptera. And I know that's a question you might be thinking about, but um, let's take a look at um, some of the things they're doing. I actually have a video feed we're going to take a look at and get his their thoughts on it, and then we'll we'll discuss that and see exactly what uh, Tesla is doing. All right, let's get into this baby. Seen uh, Tesla's recent investor day where they said, we're going to an unboxed method. And you probably looked at that and said, that looks familiar. <laughs> uh, did you see that? I don't think I saw that part. Oh, so the new compact model is going to be a bunch of sub-assemblies that all come together in a single marriage at the end. Uh, we think that we've made strides that Elon has dreamt about. He would, he would love to have a Model Y body that's built of only six parts. He's talking about these big giga castings where, oh, I can make two sides of a body and a couple tops and a couple closeout sections, and that's the whole vehicle. Well, that's what Aptera is. Aptera is a tub and a spider and two body sides, and that, that's the whole vehicle. And we had the highest roof crush strength of any passenger car on the road. So it's strong. It's uh, easy to manufacture. That's what you get with an egg, right? Yeah. So as you can see there, um, Brian's asking Chris if, you know, he saw what Aptera was doing. And of course, he, he, he didn't notice uh, what Aptera was doing. And as you can see in the video, when he's talking to him, he's showing him that um, Aptera, I mean, uh, Tesla is actually coming up with substations to actually work on their vehicle so that they can put them together a lot faster. And of course, the, you know, kudos to Tesla for doing that, because I mean, they are taking steps in the right direction to actually put their vehicles together faster and to cut down on uh, work time to get their vehicles put together by using substations. So when they get through, they can put everything together at the same time. However, I mean, there's still a problem because they still, even though they're moving forward and they're going to make their uh, manufacturing plants smaller, they still have to, they still got to paint, they still got to prime it. Um, so those things will still have to be done and they still got to make parts for the uh, or uh, use press machines to make the doors and um, the hood and the trunk and all that. Uh, but, you know, what they're doing is fantastic because they're still moving in the right direction. Um, give me your thoughts on that. I mean, Tesla is doing a fantastic job. Don't get me wrong. But once again, I'd rather have your thoughts on this. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, I know some of you are going to say, well, Tesla, you know, they're already making their vehicles. They, they don't need to prove anything. And of course, Aptera don't have any vehicles yet. But we know that once Aptera does come out, and they are coming out, that they'll be putting their vehicles together much faster. Their um, manufacturing plant is about 100 times smaller than the um, Tesla gigafactory in texas and so at terra once they come out they're they're going to be able to make um manufacturing plants just anywhere in the world very fast and then they'll start producing their vehicles very fast because i mean they they really what you see here they just put their vehicles together it's just six parts and then all they have to do is add the uh battery pack the um suspension system and the wheels and the motors and they're done. They don't even have to paint it. They just, there's, there's a wrap that's going on it. No paint. You don't have to worry about any of that. And it'll be drivable, you know. So Aptera is definitely going to be able to put their vehicles together very fast. 
And, you know, like I said, once again, Tesla is moving in the right direction. They, they are getting to the point where they'll be able to move very fast, too, if they keep going in that direction. So once again, tell me your thoughts. Let me hear what you think. And I do want to hear your comment. And if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my videos when they come out. And you can also catch all my old videos. You can just go to my channel and check all the videos I got out that I put in the past, and you could check them out. All right, everybody. So now we're going to go to the accelerator program, see what's happening there. Usually, I mean, they're in a pause, not expecting much. I mean, I was very surprised the last time caught me off guard, but you know, that's what happens. Things change from day to day. So you never know exactly what's going to happen, but I mean, it's always good to check and see what's happening. Cause once again, like I said, you never know. And at Terra, they're slowly growing. They are going to get there very, very soon. Once they come out with the vehicle, a lot of people are going to put their trust in Aptera and they are going to grow very fast once they find out that this very aerodynamic, except, um, less drag coefficient vehicle will be out on the street. And look at there, it hasn't changed, but there was something I forgot to check the last time somebody brought to my attention that we actually have a new leader. Somebody uh, surpassed LG. It, uh, and um, it looks like, oh, I'm sorry, RP, I meant to say. And this guy is out of California and he actually put down, he's just $4 shy of $4 million putting down to get the number one spot, the number one Aptera that's going to come out. And that's amazing because Aptera, like I said, they're on a pause. They've been on a pause for almost a month, two and a half months now. And of course we can't wait for them to start back up, but this is really going to drop fast once they do come back on. But wow, that's amazing. They put $4 million down and we see that their app tear is at 24 million now. Looks like they're getting ready to surpass 25 million, which is probably going to happen very soon. So if you want to invest in that tear, this is the time to do it. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm letting you know up front. I am not a financial advisor. Talk to your financial advisor, see if this is a company you want to get involved with. And of course, whenever you're dealing or investing with a company, you should have somebody that advise you. Even if it's yourself, I mean, you, you probably what, look over your numbers and, and look over their numbers, get the history of the company, see if this is something that you really want to get involved with. And with any startup, there's risk. So I would do that. But uh, once again, wow, we got a new leader on the board. Congratulations, the DI out of California. He has made his move. Is somebody else going to come in and pay more than that to get, even, get the number one spot? We just don't know. You have to wait and see. But anyway, once again, you know, it's good to see these changes. You guys, you are awesome. I'm saying hi to my patrons. Thank you for supporting my channel. I love you guys. You guys, I really depend on you to help me out. And if you're new here, once again, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. You'll catch all the videos when they come out. You really help this channel to keep me going. The <clears throat> only other thing that helps me to keep going is I, I really love Aptera and I know they're going to do some fantastic things. And if you want to keep up to date with Aptera, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my stuff when they come out. All right. Well, you guys take care. You have a good one. Y'all have a good day. And we'll talk to you later. All right. Let's jam out of here. Bye-bye.